After installation of machine tools, you should always open the add-on preferences and either activate the tools you want to use or deactivate the tools that are active by default if you don't want to use them. At least in the Prime variant, only the Focus tool and the Modes Pi are active by default. This is done so as to not overwhelm newcomers, because Machine Tools is a huge add-on, massive really, but you can pick and choose exactly, and as little or as much as you want to use. You can see that both active tools also expose settings on the right side. The Focus Tools settings are here, and the Modes Pi has its own settings down here. If you deactivate a tool or Pi, the settings vanish accordingly, but note that not every tool or Pi has settings. You also have a few general add-on settings here, for instance, about whether machine tools should be present in the 3D View sidebar at all. You can disable the Get Support tool from being shown there, and note that only a few tools are ever exposed in the sidebar. For instance, the group tools have their place there, but you can access them via the Object Context menu too, or via the Modes Pi, or some key maps. We can also disable General Add-on Output, which shows a little confirmation in the System Console that the add-on is registered. Most tools and obviously the Pi menus are accessed directly via key maps. And when you activate a tool or Pi menu, you'll see some statistics about operator and key map counts update here. The focus tool registers one operator and three key maps, which you can see here under the key maps tab. You can change this to any key you want. And if you do, you can reset them to the default again too. It's the same for the modes Pi, which sets two key maps and activates six operators. Note that the Pi menus in Machine Tools are not just a rearrangement of Blender native tools. Most Pis bring their own additional tools that either do completely new things or work differently than their native Blender counterparts. The Shading Pi, for instance, has 19 operators of its own. And if you activate all of this, you can see just how massive Machine Tools really is. There's a lot to it, but you can use as much as you want or as little as you want. Maybe more, the more time you spend with it and I'd encourage you to explore it one after the other. The Customize tool is the most personal tool for me. It allows me to easily turn a fresh Blender installation into one that's adjusted and set up exactly how I like to use it. For you, however, you could just use it to install the supplied M3 theme or the supplied matcaps. Again, it's up to you how much of this you want to use. Just hit the Customize button and your picks will be adjusted for you. You should probably leave the key maps toggle off unless you are familiar with the changes it does. These are documented in the docs, but it's quite a lot. It enables the 2 7x key map and then modifies it further. Finally, the about page shows various links to my other add ons, my website, and my art station, etc. I talked about the integrated installer in the installation video already, as well as the get support tool, which also has its own video. If you need support, please do use this tool and watch the support video first.